guest actually got started with me in the teen R&B pop group 3LW in the yes. 90s. And boy, have we come a long way since then. Yes. From TV to film to music, she is on top of the game. And today, she's here to talk all about her hit series, Queens on ABC. Please welcome Naturi Naughton. Naturi! Hey, Naturi! Hey, Naturi! Hey, Naturi! Hey, Naturi! Hey, Naturi! Looking beautiful. So gorgeous. Absolutely. Thank you. Welcome to the Thank show. You. Of course. It's it's good to be back. Yes. Oh, yes. that's so cool. Now, the last time you were here, you were pregnant with your first child. Yes. How has motherhood changed you? I know. It's been like almost four years. It has okay. changed me immensely. You know, my daughter, Zuri, is my world. And I remember when I came, I think, uh, yeah, Adrian and I were there at that time on YouTube. Line. I was like four months, five months pregnant. Yes. And mm -hmm. I, I feel like I've become a more just full person. I, I really realize what purpose I have in life. And my daughter mm. motivates me, not just as an actress, but as a human being. I want to be better for her. So it's cool. So beautiful. Yeah, so children beautiful. always change every mm -hmm. everyone for the good. Oh, and for you, sure. <laughs> okay. You recently got engaged. Congratulations! Yes. Yes. Thank you. So great. I'm Look so excited. You. I'm getting have you said a day yet? I have. I have in the spring 2022. Yes, yes. that's coming right up. So you're in the thick of wedding planning, no? Literally, like right now, Adrian, <laughs> I am literally like doing this interview, running to taste things, running to get everything together. It's going that to be so beautiful. Exciting. And I'm just, oh, I'm excited that I met my prince and I get to yeah. marry him and spend my life with him. So I'm very Is Zuri excited. so excited for it too? Of course. She has planned out her flower girl <laughs> walk. She's going to dance with it. my fiance at the wedding. The best. She's so excited. We are a family. We have our own song and everything. It's, it's beautiful. Aww. I love that. That's going to be absolutely incredible. Now, we are obviously super excited about your show, Queens. Um, but there was actually an episode similar to the show, MTV Cribs, that we did back in the day. And there was even a <laughs> clip that resurfaced where you discussed how we had to fake it to make it. Um, do you think that still holds true for artists today? Honestly, yes. The The problem is we're always comparing ourselves to yes. other people, not just artists. I think that holds true for a lot of the younger generation who are obsessed mm -hmm. with social media. Um, but back when we did Cribs, I feel like that was like 2000 or something, mm -hmm. 2001. <laughs> We had to, you know, make it look like we were rich and famous mm -hmm. with the cars and the house. And we were like in a two bedroom apartment sharing a bed, <laughs> if I remember correctly. Yes, um, just you were I. In, in LA at Archstone Apartments. But yeah. it's interesting. I just wanted to let people know you don't have to live up to what you see the standard is. Your standard mm -hmm. is your standard and do your Preach. best. And I think that's what's important. Don't fake it till you make it. Just make it when you make it. And right. you know what? You've been making it because you've been killing it on screen. That's right. We love you as Tasha St. Patrick in the original series Power. And you even made appearances on Power uh, Book to Ghost. Now, before your character, it was sent to witness protection. Ooh. The fans and I have been asking, <laughs> where's Tasha? Is she coming out of hiding soon? Let me know. Child, they are on me. Like, if I post something on Instagram, they be like, yep. why are you over here dancing when your son, Tariq, is yes, serving I white in prison? And you know, <laughs> so so I take it seriously. Yes. <laughs> they like, come it's get crazy. your kids. <laughs> That's all that they see. And it's, it's actually an honor because that means I did my job. That yes. Tasha character is so iconic that they won't let yes. me go. But um, I think Tasha is, you know, she'll be coming around the bend very soon. Just Ooh. keep watching. The finale okay. is coming on uh, this Sunday. So, Lonnie, I got you. Just just yes. know that Tasha's still alive, so she can come back at any time. Any time. Okay. We love that. Yes. Can we please talk about Queens? Yes. yes. Of course. Yes. 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 Show. Uh, you so just good. wrapped the first season of your hit ABC <laughs> show, Queens. Tell us about your character, Jill the Thrill. Oh, my gosh. I have so much fun playing Jill the Thrill. First mm -hmm. off, I get to, I get to rap, which is you know I did a little bit of that obviously as Little Kim and Notorious, yeah. but this is like about a '90s girl group. I've been in a girl group. Mm -hmm. I, I love working with Eve, Brandy, Nadine. Uh, it's a lot of work. I will say it's a hard show to shoot, but 
But when you see, I feel so rewarded because we're tackling real issues about women in the business, women yeah. being taken advantage of. I've lived a lot of these issues. Mm -hmm. So for me, doing Jill the Thrill, she is a gay, you know, rapping church lady. It's not anything close to anything I've ever done. So I was, I was excited to play such a unique role. Yeah, and like that's you so just cool. said, of your castmates, you're the only one that's actually ever been in a real girl group. How much of your own experience did you bring to this role? Hmm. Well, since you were in that group <laughs> with me, mm, you know, last. <laughs> the struggle was real. And as, if you're watching Queens, you kind of can see a lot of that world, especially in the 90s, 2000s, mm -hmm. you know, it was a lot of things that weren't monitored the way they are now. There was no social media. There was no Me Too movement right. uh, like there is now. And I think there was a lot of pressure to, you know, be a certain way. I think what Queens is showing, these women coming back after they're in their, you know, late 30s, mm -hmm. early 40s, and they're saying, you know what? I can still live my dreams. It's never too late for me. I love that. And my experience in 3LW definitely, you know, had some challenging times, but I've used that experience to motivate other young women that mm -hmm. everything I went through, being feeling unpretty, feeling like I was not good enough, constantly helps inform my decisions as the character Jill the Thrill. She is more than enough, and she's amazing. And so, Bravo. 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 So That's a whole word. This is a really good it's so show. so good, it really Because is. it shows Thank sisterhood. You. Sisterhood is the center of Queens. Now, what has it been like working with the incredible castmates, Brandy, Eve, and Nadine Velasquez? It's been so much fun. As you can see in this picture, we look like a real girl group. I mean, <laughs> and that comes with ups and downs. But one thing I will say is these women are so talented. Growing up, you know, I loved Brandy and I mm -hmm. was on tour with Eve. We were on the TRL tour and yeah. Eve yep. was a part of that tour. Um, and I hadn't met Nadine, but working with her has been great. We've all just learned to respect each other, to uplift each other. And in a group, you have to kind of learn to dance. It's a dance. And I think yeah. uh, I have some great, great actors and performers around me. So it feels like we just gel, like the chemistry is unreal. No, Tori, have you spoken to Eve since she's had her baby? Because I know she took a maternity leave from the show, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's, she's still, you know, getting it done. And she is killing it in, in her <laughs> quest to motherhood. But I have spoken to her literally just yesterday. So I'm so excited for her because I think she's going to make an amazing mommy. And I can't wait to meet the, the little prince. I tell him, you know, I was like, oh. Royalty is about to be born because you're a queen. Yes. To have a prince. <laughs> so yes. I told her that yesterday. And I'm so, I'm just proud of her because it's not easy. I shot power while pregnant in season yeah. four. And I know how hard it is to be a working mom. And she's killing it. And I'm excited for her to enter this, this new phase. Her and her yeah. so dope. Well, we have a clip from Queen, so let's take a look. This is my stand for Madison. I see what she's going through, I understand it, and I wanna help her, and I think she can help us. Okay, look, what would it hurt to just bring her in and see what she can do? She's a good, honest person surrounded by bad people, trust me. What did you say, wizard, whatever girl's name was again? Madison Pierce. So good! Yeah. Maturi, thank you so much for hanging out with us today. Queens airs Tuesdays at 9, 8 central on ABC. And it's also streaming on Hulu, so make sure that you check it out there. And guess what? The finale of Queens airs on February 15th. There's only two more episodes yeah, left. Two more. Make sure that you guys are checking it out.